I mean, if you guys have enough money to arrest marijuana smokers, don't you have too much money? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Miss Stubb? Question. Sorry, I gotta go. Why do kids have to be forced to go to your schools? Are you on the board of aldermen, ma'am? Nope. Are I you on the school not. board? I am. I'm on my way to run a meeting. Why do kids have to be forced to go to your schools? All right, so there's that security guard that doesn't like to be photographed. He's back on duty. He was uh, not here last time I was at the uh, City Hall. He's given me grief for filming him. Ordered me not to, so we'll see what happens today. I am planning on going in. There's another uh, much nicer security guard who works here sometime, and if he was here, he would already be out here chatting me up. Uh, Probably for the full hour that I'm here, we just have conversation. Of course, the other security guard, who you're not seeing here, the other security guard uh, hardly ever gets his picture taken simply because he's not newsworthy. He doesn't make himself newsworthy like this guy does on the right there. Are you on the Board of Aldermen? Yes. Question for you. Uh, are you going to vote to override the tax cap? Absolutely. Well, um, why is that? I mean, if you guys have enough money to arrest marijuana smokers, don't you have too much money? I shouldn't have said that. It's not a tax cap. Technically, it's a spending cap. Everybody calls it a tax cap. But... It restricts Manchester authorities from raising taxes uh, more than the rate of inflation unless they get a supermajority vote on the Board of Aldermen. Are you in the Board of Aldermen? Yeah. Question, are you going to vote to raise the uh, spending pass, the spending cap? I don't cap? know yet. We'll have to see what it looks like. If you guys have enough money to, I understand, raise the, uh, the uh, salary of the uh, welfare commissioner by 40 thousand dollars don't you have too much money are you chief burkish by any chance i am am i saying that right yep question for you uh rich gerard the radio show host says that uh, your accident rate has gone up since you started putting more people on a ladder and on a truck is that true yeah. all right thanks yeah. mr rocker's question for you uh, are kids forced to do to go to your schools if they don't fill out paperwork to get permission to do otherwise. Mr. Katsiantonis? Yes. Are you expecting to vote to override the tax cap? Right now, we don't know yet. We'll see. We'll if you see. Get, I understand you guys have enough money to raise the welfare commissioner's salary by $40,000. No, to us. Is that the true? Charter. The charter. Does that mean you have too much money? Sir, how are you doing? Good, buddy. What's new? Question. What exactly is the nature of this conflict between you and Rich Gerard? I didn't know there was one. Well, I hear about it on his radio show. Oh. I would hear it about it on your TV show, but I don't watch TV. Oh, I, I think he's mad because I pointed out the fact that he gave us the Yager Decker, which if you were in the Yager Decker system, after 13 years, your salary increased by 60%. Not only did he lobby all the aldermen for it in 1999 or 98, he actually made the motion for that. It's crippled the city put us in a very serious bind. That's why we had to go get a tax cap.
terms of budgeting. Yeah, and we're having, tonight we're going to be looking at an override of the budget because of the overwhelming, incredible compensation packages that we have here in the city. Compared well, to Nashua, it's absolutely incredible. What exactly, you sued him, right? What, was it, what exactly was your reason for suing him? Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene, and sort of kind of cut spending. Cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking dot com.